How would you like for me to read you a story? Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a rich landowner who had to go away on business. So the rich landowner hired three workers. One worker's name was Brandon, and he was not faithful at all. Another worker was named Keith, and Keith was faithful. The third worker was named Kedrick, and Kedrick was very faithful. So the rich landowner told each worker that he had to go away on a long journey. He told each worker that he would give them $10,000 a month if they would simply care for his wife. All they had to do was give his wife one-tenth or $1,000 a month. This would care for all of her needs. So here's what happened the first month. Well, I got my $10,000 and I gave a thousand of it to the master's wife and I got to keep it 9,000 for myself. It was great. Well, because of the job that, that has been given to me, I, I had to repay the master just because how great it was. Uh, and so instead of just giving a thousand, which I did do, I, I gave even $200 more. You know, the first month thing where you get the thousand dollars, I was I was going to do that. But right before that, I was getting ready to go over there. My alternator went out. I have a 93 Ford Explorer, and you know it's paid for, but it cost a couple hundred bucks. And then once I get that taken care of, I drove over there and gave her the eight hundred dollars I have left over. And then came the second month. Again, I got ten thousand dollars, and I mean it was automatic. It was right off the top. I gave a thousand dollars to. Uh, to the master's wife and I got to keep the rest of it for myself and got to do some great things with it. Um, not only did I give that thousand but I also gave another 500 for the second month because it's it's not even just mine but it also is theirs too. And I still having problems with my car you know it's got 230,000 miles on it. It's paid for but I got a you know this time it was like a, a, the transmission was really needing some work so I I gave her 400 bucks this month. And then in the third month, the master saw who really cared and who didn't. Third month, I'm sitting here going, wow, how awesome this master is that he would do this for me, let me keep 90% of it, and I only have to give 10% to his wife. It was, I mean, I'm just honored. It's almost like giving a thousand isn't even enough. I mean, I've given that, and it's pretty easy for me to give that. But uh, it just seems like the more and more I get to, to know them and to love them, it's like I want to give them more. And so on top of that 1000 I, I, I had to give them another 1000 just to let them know how much they mean to me. So anyways, when I was over there giving her the $400, I noticed these other two guys there, and they had n nicer cars than I did. So, you know, I was just kind of thinking, I got this old clunker. You know, they got to be doing something to pay for their car. So I went out and bought me a car. You know, they, they're giving her lots of money, and I, I just didn't give her any money last month. So the master fired the unfaithful worker and gave all the extra income to the other two faithful ones. Do you know what I would have done to that unfaithful guy? <laughs> Anna, remember the moral of the story is this. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with very much. <laughs>